Hi there and welcome to module 1n of my full Python course for beginners. If you have not subscribed already, please go ahead and do so and let's get started. So today we're going to talk about the idea of comparison operators and we've actually already seen one. We have seen, say if I set x equal to 7, then if I ask the question, is x less than 7, I get the answer of false because x is not less than 7. This less than thing is one of many comparison operators. It's comparing two things. It's saying, is this left side less than this right side? Well, in this case, it's false. Is this left side greater than this right side? It is false. That makes sense. There's also some very common ones like equals equals. Is x actually equal to seven? It is true. So notice the double equals. In this top one, we're setting x equal to 7. It's called the assignment operator. We are assigning x to be the value of 7. And in some programming languages, you might even see that it's written like this, where it's really trying to say, no, it's not is x equal to 7. It's we're putting the value of 7 into x. But that's not a Python thing. That's just a different language thing. So we say x is equal to 7. And then if we want to ask, is it equal to this thing? Is it actually equal to this value? Are these two sides, left and right, equal to each other? That is the double equals. And we can also replace this first equals with a, say, greater than. So we can say, is x greater than or equal to 7? Well, that is true, because x is 7. And there's also less than or equal to. That will also output true. And of course, there is greater than 7 as well. The only other one I'm going to talk about right now is the idea of not. And that's usually done with an exclamation mark. So x is not equal to 7. Well, x is 7, and so this is going to output false. And the only other thing I'm going to talk about is the idea of not. So if you put not in front of stuff, that is always just going to negate whatever is over to the right of it. So if we have not x is not equal to 7, well, we just saw this is the output for just this part, then it's going to flip it, right? That's going to be true because it's saying x not equal to 7. Well, x is 7, so that'll be false, but then not false is true, all right? And equivalently, if you did something like not true, then that would actually flip it to be false. All right, so that's the idea of comparison operators, and I will see you in the next part.